What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I have a very special episode for you and I've been do some trying to do something like this for a very long time. So, the genesis of this video is basically a lot of people hitting me up uh, when I have obscure cocktail ingredients and to say like, hey listen, I want to make this cocktail, it has liqueur 43 in it or it has Giffard Banana Dude Brazil or it has Fraise de... Fre is it Fraise de Bois? Fray du Bois, right? Fraise... What's, what's French? What's French for strawberry? Frey Dubois, or whatever, you get my meaning. Uh, but I don't want to just buy this bottle of something that's gonna cost me 30 or 40 bucks and then not be able to use it in other cocktails and have it sit dusty on the shelf until I'm ready to make this cocktail again. And although usually my first inclination is to say, listen, you should be stockpiling your bottles so that you have a big home bar so that you can make cocktails whenever you want, but also when they crop up on the channel and, and if you're following along, you'll be able to just have that ingredient on hand the next time it pops up. I will say that I won't ever just use one ingredient once. I will always use it multiple times. But it is a fair question about how to use some of the more obscure ingredients that pop up. And so I wanted to make this video that is that has one spirit in common, whether that is a modifier or a main spirit. Today, we decided to start with Jägermeister. Jägermeister is a very good place to start because A, it is usually thought of as a modifier, and some of the cocktails we do use it as a main spirit, if not all of them use it as a main spirit, but then also um, it gets kind of an, uh, an unfair rap in the craft cocktail world. A lot of people, you know, they think about it as a play, as a spirit that you drink in a nightclub uh, as, as a shot, and a lot of people's very first experience with shots is Jägermeister. I actually was introduced to Jägermeister at a pretty young age, even when I was sneaking alcohol when I was a teenager. Um, but I think that's unfair. I wanted, I wanted to do something where I could show you guys that there are a lot of amazing craft applications for Jägermeister, that it is a quality product, and that also uh, it is, it should be, it, sh it, it does fit into the realm of Italian Amari. So here's another thing. Some people are gonna take exception of whether this is schnapps or Amaro, but I'm telling you that it is Amaro, and there's one thing that separates it from schnapps. So schnapps is also German. It also can be an herbal liqueur, um, basically herbs steeped into uh, neutral grain spirit or rectified spirit. Um, they also are more, most commonly made with fruit, but it can be herbs as well, and that's where things get kind of confusing. Jägermeister is a digestive. It is made with 56 different botanical and spice elements. It was created uh, by a guy named Kurt Mast, who lived in Wolfsbüttel, Germany. I, f I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but right, but I mean, you Germans can, any Germans watching the show, please feel free to comment below and, uh, and you can correct my pronunciation. Uh, so Kurt Mast was the son of a guy named Wilhelm Mast, who was a vinegar maker in Germany, started in the 1800s. Uh, and then at some point, Kurt uh, took over the business when his father passed away. And after that, he, took, he, he created the recipe for Jägermeister. Jägermeister means master hunter, and it is used to signify like a master gamekeeper. Um, all right, guys, let's get into the cocktails. I'm really excited about this, and I hope you are too. All right, first cocktail up, we're gonna be doing a Jaeger Buck. Now, this is not a cocktail that I can claim to have invented. Bucks have been around for a very long time, and they are a category of drink, uh, which basically you can change out the spirit in it. So gin bucks were really popular during Prohibition. It, they have been around for at least that long. Uh, we know that, it, that the book was uh, published in the 1930s Savoy Cocktail Book by Harry Craddock. Um, and th this category of drink also gets muddled up with mules. So I'm just going to define the buck really quick, and then we're going to get into the cocktail. Um, a buck is different than a mule in that, for my money, a buck has a half an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of fresh ginger syrup, two ounces of whatever spirit you want, whether it be Jägermeister or gin or tequila, any spirit you want. Um, shaken and strained uh, into a, a highball glass with topped with soda and uh, garnished with either like a lime wheel or a little bit of candied ginger. Um, a mule is something that has three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice, two ounces of whatever spirit you want. Ice served in a copper mug with ginger beer topped off. Um, there are some people that are going to disagree with me and there's a lot of bars that will serve a buck and call it a mule. That's totally fine. Bucks are delicious, and I think that they're a little bit more flavorful. So I decided to use this cocktail because this is really gonna play into Jägermeister's herbal element. So Jägermeister is an herbal liqueur, uh, and this is the ginger 
and the lime are really gonna play very nicely with the um, Jägermeister base. All right, let's get into it. So first thing we're gonna do, half an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of ginger syrup, and we're gonna do two ounces of Jäger. You're gonna wanna do a 14 ounce highball for this, at least, to make room for the soda, make enough room for the soda. We're just gonna add ice to our tin. Add our cocktail together. And give it a nice hard shake. We're gonna put the ice in first and, as I probably should do, give it a little dash of soda, get the effervescence going, then pour our cocktail in. Top it off with a little bit more soda. And then we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of candied ginger. So I take these nice bamboo toothpicks. I like these because other toothpicks can get a little bit ungainly. Uh, these ones are really nice, elegant, clean. And then I'm just gonna stick it through the ginger candy. I like to try and situate the points into a triangle like so, so that you can get it to sit on the rim of the glass really nicely. It's a little bit twisted, it's a little bit close, but you kind of get the general idea. And there you have it, the Jägerbuck. Next cocktail up, we got a reconstructed surfer on acid. This cocktail was created by Dylan Snyder, who is the A bartender now at Everson Royce Bar in downtown Los Angeles, but he also worked at The Varnish, which is where I met him, and he's worked at some other uh, cocktail programs. And at the time that he created this drink, which is a reconstruction of that iconic 90s club cocktail, the Surfer and Acid, uh, he was working as, I think, brand and scene manager for Jägermeister. So this is a great drink. I'm gonna, let's just get into it. Uh, enough jibba jabba, let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is half an ounce of Orja, which is uh, almond, I was gonna say liqueur, but it's not liqueur, almond syrup. And then we're gonna do half an ounce of fresh lime, one ounce of pineapple juice, we're gonna do one ounce, one ounce of Jägermeister, one ounce of Stiggins Fancy Pineapple Rum made by Plantation. And then we're gonna add some ice to our tin. And we're gonna add some nice, beautiful ice that I made to our old fashioned glass. Center our glass. Undo our tin. It's gonna be nice and frothy because pineapple froths so nicely. We're gonna put this the right way and strain it into our double old fashioned glass. Just made it. And then we're just gonna simply garnish it with a pineapple frond, like so. There it is. The Surfer on Acid, or the Reconstructed Surfer on Acid. Next cocktail up is called a Little Red Jacket. I'm not sure who created this cocktail, but it's a really good one. And it just shows you exactly how versatile uh, Jägermeister can be. So first thing we're gonna do is take two strawberries and put them in the bottom of a tin. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of Aperol, quarter ounce yellow chartreuse, which is gonna add some extra herbal notes to it and then an ounce and a half of Jägermeister. I'm gonna take a muddler, and we're just gonna muddle the strawberries. This is a cocktail that you're definitely gonna to wanna to double strain because strawberries have little seeds and everything, and you definitely don't want those in the finished drink. I'm gonna add ice to our uh, Collins glass, and then we're gonna add the rest of the ice to our tin and give it a nice hard shake. Then we are gonna just add a little soda to begin with. Double strain our cocktail. And then we're just gonna top it off with a little more club soda. And then to garnish, we're gonna do a strawberry flag. And then we're just gonna angle it just like that. And there it is, the little red jacket. Next cocktail up is a really fun play in a margarita called the Jägerita. Um, I don't know who created this cocktail. I'm not sure if anyone knows the first person to create this cocktail, but I will say that uh, Jeffrey Morgenthaler, who is the you know 
co-owner, I think, and then also head guy over at Clyde Common in Portland. Um, he was the one that encountered this in London and sort of brought it back. Uh, the recipe, though, that we're using is from a bartender named David Cordoba, who actually worked with Jeffrey Morgenthaler at some point. And this is the um, recipe that you're going to find at the bar 28 Hong Kong Street in Singapore. All right, let's get into it. So first thing, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, three quarters of an ounce of Cointreau, and then an ounce and a half of Jaeger. This one's gonna just be like nice and refreshing for the hot days that we've got, that we've been experiencing lately. And then we're just gonna add approximately six to eight ounces of crushed ice and then blend it up. And you wanna make sure that you blend it up really good because what we're looking for is the slushy effect here. So then take a double old fashioned glass and just pour the slushy out. And then we're just gonna garnish with a little dehydrated lime wheel, or you could do like a fresh lemon, uh, fresh lime wheel if you want to. And there it is, the Jaegerita. This cocktail comes to us from Souther Teague, who's a New York City barman, uh, best known as the bar director of a bar called Amor y Amargo in New York City. Uh, it is an Amari situated bar and probably one of the first, if not the actual first. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do, um, recipe calls for apple bitters, but I found these cherry apple bitters that are very apple apple forward with a little hint of cherry and it goes really well in this cocktail. So I'm gonna use these. It's from R&D Bitters Company in San Diego. We're just gonna do two dashes. So we're just gonna do one ounce of the bonded Applejack, an ounce and a half of Jägermeister. Then we're just gonna take our big rock of ice that I lovingly carved a little while ago just give it a nice stir until it's nice and chilled. You don't, you can you can stop stirring it whenever you want because it's sitting on ice, so it'll dilute as you go. And then we're just gonna cut a nice orange peel. Give it a little spritz. Give it a little wipe down. I think I'm just gonna put this on top like that. And there it is, the black apple old fashioned. And our last cocktail is called Gary Regan's Ultimate Negroni. Now, all right, let's get into his Ultimate Negroni. First thing we're gonna do is an ounce of Jägermeister. An ounce of sweet vermouth, we're gonna be using Dolan today. And an ounce of gin, we're using Tanqueray. This is, the, uh, this is Gary Regan's preferred, and I wanted to make this the way that he makes it. And then we're just gonna add our big rock of ice, lovingly carved by myself. I know I said that last time, but I'm gonna say it again, because I do lovingly carve every piece of ice. Give it a nice stir. All right, and then I'm just gonna give it like a nice orange peel. And then we'll just stick that in there. Voila. Gary Regan's Ultimate Negroni. So there you have it guys, six game-changing Jaeger cocktails that are not only gonna get you thinking about Jaeger a little bit differently, but are gonna knock your cocktail game up quite a bit. All right, let's taste them. The best, the, this is the best part of the video. All right, Black Apple Old Fashioned, Southern Teague, let's take it. So the Jägermeister gives it like that nice herbal flavor, but you can taste the, surprisingly, the Applejack comes through like so much. And then you've got that, you've got that orange peel. And I gotta tell you that people always discard this. You should really just keep it on the rim of your glass so you can smell that orange, that nice fresh orange. You're gonna, you're gonna suck the orange oil off the top of the cocktail in that first or second sip. It's nice to have this up here to inform the taste. Mm. Okay, the other thing that's been haunting my dreams is this Jaegerita. I gotta try it, I have to. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. You get the Jaeger, you get the Cointreau, balanced out with that tart, tart lime. And you got the simple syrup, just kind of balancing everything out. The simple syrup did not make it too sweet, even though Jägermeister has a bit of sweetness to it. Um, in both these cocktails, you would think that Jaeger would just be the dominant flavor, but it actually pairs so well with the other ingredients. And I'm assuming that all of the rest of these are gonna be doing the same thing.
All right, let's try this. Surfer on acid reconstruction. Oh man, pineapple, lime, tart, really tart, nice. Really good call on a half an ounce of Orgeat, giving you a little bit of that body. You get a little bit of the spice element. Again, the Jägermeister being the most prominent flavor profile does not overwhelm anything. And you get that nice pineapple to it, but you get that like really balanced sweetness. Oh yeah, all right, Jäger Buck. I mean, as I suspected, um, you know, the herbal notes in the Jägermeister play into that ginger so well. And then you have that nice tart lime, but it's not overwhelmingly tart and it's not overwhelmingly limey. Super well balanced. You know, this could be like a cooler, right? This could be like for hot weather. And it can also be for cold weather. Like I would drink this in the fall. Um, I got a straw for this next one because, you know, I don't know. I don't want to stab my face with the, uh, the pick. Oh man. So you got the strawberry, Jaeger. It's all balanced really well. It's nice and tart. You got that light effervescence. Mm. Guys, I'm going to tell you, these cocktails rank with the best cocktails that I've been doing on this channel. All right, Gaz Regan's Ultimate Negroni. Last one, let's do it. I'm trying to get the work that strawberry flavor through my palate. I don't have any water to sort of clean my palate right now, so. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I mean, here's the deal. It should not be surprising that Jägermeister pairs with gin that well. And you got that dry, dry gin, but it, you've got the juniper and you've got all of the botanicals and the gin just kind of playing into the botanicals of the Jägermeister. Um, you got that light kind of savory sweetness that you get when you are drinking sweet vermouth. Um, it is, I mean, I know why, I, I can see why Gaz Regan calls it it's his ultimate Negroni. All right, guys, there you have it. Six Jaeger cocktails. I will see you guys next time. Please go check out our Patreon, hit subscribe, uh, check out our, uh, hit subscribe and like on this channel and definitely hit the bell icon so you get notified about our videos. Our Patreon, we got some awesome exclusive content going there at patreon.com slash the educated barfly. Check us out on Teespring. We've got great, awesome Marius design t-shirts that uh, also help us with production. I will see you guys on the next video. Hope you enjoyed it.